It's not the first time that we talk about some leaks about the Oculus Quest 2 Pro. We also actually had a kind of confirmation from the VP of Facebook Reality Lab, Andrew Rods. Hey, they're here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. So last week we talked about some leaks of the Oculus Quest 2 Pro, and now we're gonna see why we're likely gonna see it directly this October at Facebook Connect. Let's get into it. So first of all, it's no secret that Oculus is already working on the next generation of their standalone headset. It was Buzz directly that actually teased the Oculus Quest 2 Pro a uh, while ago, because when asked the question if they were interested in making a headset for a little more price, like $600 with more sensor in it, well, he just winked. We also know that Facebook is very interested in all the social interaction and we need more sensor to make it more real. A great example is the headset that I have back there, an HP Reverb G2 Omnicept Edition, the back sensor for this particular purpose. It has face tracking for all the expressions, it has eye tracking to understand what you're looking at, and make it easier for the GPU to actually render the important things in a game or in an experience, and in the case also an heartbeat sensor that of course it can understand your behavior during a game or an horror game and it has so many implications that could be absolutely useful and interesting. But while the headset is focusing more towards business and enterprises, well the Oculus Quest 2 Pro will have to be more interesting for actual people like us that want to have a better social experience. We're gonna go back to the social experience a bit, but right now we have to talk about what we actually found in the firmware itself. And that makes it very interesting. So first of all, Mr. Basti some months ago, we already made a video about it that found some string of code for the eye tracking. That is kind of confirmed is something that we're gonna see also in the PSVR 2, uh, we have already in the Reverb G2. And well, it's kind of the future of VR because we need to understand how to use less power and less powerful processor and stuff to actually run experiences. And having eye tracking and using foveated rendering seems to be the best answer, right? now and also of course as a better integration for social interaction where your eyes are gonna move exactly like they usually move in reality. Now last week new strings were found by Reggie04 that posted everything directly on Reddit. This thing I'll show you some instruction on how to set up the eye tracking itself with follow the target with your gaze, eye calibration failed and eye movement estimation complete. Now, how do we know that we're actually talking about an Oculus Quest 2 Pro and not just the prototype that are trying with the same firmware? Well, because there's actually a string of a code about the end tracking that shows directly the Quest Pro name. With Quest Pro estimates your end size and how they move so you use your hands instead of the controllers in VR. And this is apparently the only time it's mentioned, but hey, that's something. Oh, by the way, as a disclaimer, let's remember that this can be everything. It can still be a prototype and uh, just the name over there. Now, things get even more interesting when we talk about the face tracking, something that we have in a very few headsets right now. Actually, just one, the HP Reverb G2. Because there are some screens of the code that actually talk about all the expressions and how to calibrate it to actually have uh, your social expressions directly in VR. So these strings of code are about the calibration for the face tracking. We copy different expressions, smile naturally until the calibration is complete. You might need to hold this pose for a few seconds. Show an angry expression until the calibration is complete. You might need to hold this pose for a few seconds. From naturally until the calibration is complete, you might need to hold this pose for a few seconds. Show a surprise expression until the calibration is complete, you need to hold this pose for a few seconds. Fail to calibrate expression, retrying. Face movement, estimation complete. So yeah, it seems like we're gonna have some kind of face tracking directly baked in the firmware. And that means they're gonna be able to recognize the face you're making while you're talking with a person or other, and uh, well, be able to have better conversations in VR. And that's perfect when we talk about Oculus Workroom or Facebook Workrooms, or also Facebook Horizon that still have to come. Hey, let's keep going a bit because there are also some informations about the hardware itself, talking about the button to move the lenses closer and further away from your eyes. This is something that we saw already on the original HTC Vive, on the HTC Vive Pro, and also on the Valve Index and the Rift 
S as well. Having a depth button is great for people that, for example, use glasses or they want to try to improve or reduce the FOV because there are actually also some rumors about an improved FOV from the regular 100 degrees that we have on the original Oculus Quest and all the other Oculus headsets because it seems like they're redesigned completely the lenses. But yeah, it means that we're going to have already a better strap just out of the box with more options to make it more comfortable for more people. Maybe something similar to the Elite strap, maybe also a Nalo style design like we saw on the Oculus Rift S. At the end of the day, they still have the patents probably for the PSVR style strap. And that's likely something that we are gonna see again because it's very comfortable indeed. And in the code, it says directly, turn the wheel left and right to adjust the tightness. The front padding should fit directly over your forehead. So that means that we're gonna have some padding over here, something that we don't have right now on the Oculus Quest. That also makes a lot of sense because we're still talking about a standalone headset that's gonna have battery and of course processor in there and all these additional sensors that means more weight and how you tame the weight on the VR headset where usually with aero style design where the weight is distributed a bit all better not just in the front but also on the forehead and in the back. And because we were talking about all the internal parts of the Oculus Quest 2 Pro we're probably gonna see a new processor. There are some doubts if the XR2 is gonna be able to handle all these sensors at the same time of the games. It might be clocked a bit higher with a better cooling, but probably they're gonna go for a new processor if you're doing something like that. That's also why it's gonna cost more and uh, it's called Pro. Now, why I believe that it's gonna be announced very soon, also at October, at the Oculus Connect. If you don't know what it is, anyway, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so you can register there and you can watch it directly and so I'll be the first one to know if this is true or not. But now the particular thing is that Facebook always had this obsession for social in VR. Well, of course, it's a social network company at the end of the day. And uh, well, they also have a platform directly that's called Facebook Horizon. Now that was announced more than two years ago, but it never arrived for everyone. It's still in beta. And I kind of feel that they're kind of waiting to have a better way to show it and make it more appealing. And also to be kind of the killer app to actually show in the best way what a headset with more sensors can do. Because right now we have some headsets with a lot of sensor, but we don't have experiences to actually use them. So you have to convince developers to actually jump in the game and start to use all these sensors in the best way possible. And that would be absolutely fantastic. And another thing that is not mentioned yet is a better pass-through because at that point, we're gonna be able to use the headset also as a AR headset if we had some colored view and not just the black and white that we have right now and maybe a better sense of depth. Developers already have the SDK to create AR applications and we already saw some. So yeah, it's a possibility. Also because they're still working on an AR headset that right now we just saw some smart glasses that are directly from Rayban. So this year Facebook Connect takes place October 28th, so probably we're gonna see something over there. I don't think that we're gonna have it released directly, but we're probably gonna see it in spring, like we saw all the other headsets before. Also for sure, this is gonna cost more, about $500, $600, and I'm really wondering if you will be interested in something like it, or you will go for the $300 Oculus Quest 2 without all this social stuff. What is the actual feature that will win you over to actually switch from a regular Oculus Quest 2 to an Oculus Quest 2 Pro? Let me know in the comment below because right now it seems going to have a better hand tracking, face tracking, eye tracking, better strap and comfort, probably better processor, better FOV, better screen. Well, let me know in the comment below. But so far it's all guys, I'm gonna leave the links in the description below so you can check out everything. But I really believe we're gonna see something, so stay tuned because it's gonna be very, very interesting. The fact that it's already in the firmware means something, means that probably they're already testing and they're doing something to have a complete firmware that is not gonna change between the different headsets. So Oculus Quest, Oculus Quest 2 and Oculus Quest 2 Pro. The Oculus Quest 2 will remain, it's not gonna substitute it. And that's great because that means that we're gonna have an entry level point and finally an enthusiast ready standalone headsets in the same way that in the last console generation we had the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X and the PS4 and the PS4 Pro. 
They didn't substitute each other, they were both working, and uh, it was a winning point. And here you have it, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comment below. And as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, please like. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. If you really love the channel, so join button down there. To turn further, also the Patreon, that really support the channel. And yeah, that's all. I'm a little late for the giveaway. I'm gonna pick the winner. Uh, it's really a mess uh, in this period. I'm still in the made up studio, and uh, I finally found the house, so I'm gonna move soon. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna update you as soon as possible and uh, it's still there, don't worry. Again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.